Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. This is an unboxing video. I have a package here from Amazon. No, it's no, not another PC part. This is for that Polaroid camera I got from my nans. And, um, that camera she's had for years. So this is film for that Polaroid camera. I'll have an image on screen. I won't go grab it, but it's okay. I'll grab it now in a minute, but this is for that. So let's open it up. So the screen's gonna be blurred because my address is on here, is it? It is with a sticker. So we're gonna open this up. It's actually a fairly simple package to open up. It's one of those cardboard ones, not paper or packaging. And uh, yeah, here it is. Film in all its glory. So as it says right here, classic white white frame. So that's the frame, white, not like a weird color. Uh, AS4, whatever that means. Photo develops in 10 to 15 minutes. Best stored refrigerated. Really? That's a... Uh, Shooting tips inside also works with iType cameras. So, um, you can see which ones it works with. I actually have a vintage uh, 601 movie. Not as an old 70s one, but more of a 2000s one. But yeah, film. So let's, uh, actually, we'll grab the camera, speaking of which. Yeah, I'm gonna have to angle you guys out further so you can see. So the film, the box. Let's hit the camera out now and I'll show you. So this is a more of a 2000s one. I can never actually find the model uh, make of this camera, which is a bit of a bummer. So this is kind of like a retro thing, you know, retro, retro unboxing. So, uh, I have some really reaper really setup going on here. My microphone, tripod, combo thing. See, we're at my desk and not on the other desk behind me, so... Move forward here. This is the camera. This is more of a newer, as you see, 2000s one. It's not more of the old 80s one here. And, um, for the longest time I was starting to go, how is this powered? It doesn't take a battery because the film contains the battery. And for, for a period of time, my mum was like, no, that can't be right, there's got to be a battery. No, 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 the film contains it. So, sadly, the grip here broke, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, if you open the top... Oh, you can actually open the film slot here. And um, most kids nowadays won't actually know what a film camera is, which is a kind of kind of sad. You know, time's changed. All right, most of my baby pictures are taken on a film camera. Um, so that's why I kind of know where we are. So that's how you open up the... My mum just listens to 80s music. <laughs> so that's where you slot the film in. And as you can tell here, they are battery um, hooks or mosaic things. Let me get this top off, I forgot. I think it just pops open. And yeah, it does, there we go. So there you go. Nice like there. So you got your focus here, I'm guessing, or you know, it's a fuel of view here. Um, oh. So, I don't know if this works, so we're going to test it right now with the film. So let's open up the film. The fact that Polaroid still sells a uh, film is pretty cool. It got colored because, you know, I was going to get black and white, but uh, they're out of stock or even just more expensive. Alright, how does this open? Oop, oh, broke the box. That's great. It's not from the top. I feel like it's on the sides, but I'm not sure. Right. Oh, there we go. What the hell? There's like instructions inside the box. Maybe I did open it wrong. Oh yeah, maybe it was supposed to be an ah, I see. Before use, the fridge is the Polaroid's best friend. Temperatures affect how the Polaroid film works, especially... Okay. Ensure your film is prior to use. Ensure your film is straight in perfect shape for the shooting, but show in the fridge, not freezer. Now that to reach room temperature. 
All right. That's interesting. Um. I'm just trying to read what it says. Yes, these are the instructions on the box. Oh, sorry guys, you can't hear me. These are the instructions on the box. So I'm talking to the other side of the... Uh, actually, no, even though it's my microphone here, there's audio from the phone. I'll just use that right now. So as it says right here, keep it cool. Before use, fridge is a portable's best friend. I'm going to put that. The temperature affects how the portable film works, especially prior to use. Ensure your film stays in perfect shape for shooting. In the fridge, not freezer, and allowing it to reach room temperature. 13 to 28 before loading to your camera. What was it? When it's cold, cold out, keep your photos in a warm pocket. Close, what was it? Close to your body while they develop. If a hot day, make sure they stay cool. I see. Sure, they don't shake it. Yeah, the common misconception is you shake a Polaroid to uh, get it to come out, which is not the case, actually. <laughs> Um, your fresh Polaroid photo will be a, appear blank at first, but it sensitive to light, so the movement as it starts to develop from the color photos should be shielded for the light for the first six minutes. One minute for black and white to also resist the temperature, so no matter how fun Alka yeah, Alcas wait no matter how fun Alcas makes it sound, foam shields fit to the both refurbish a new Polaroid's original cameras and cover your photo, shouldn't it from the light for not to accidentally rip the shield out. What the hell? Every Polaroid's instant film is a one-off. In your hands is a pack of film, 80 years in the making, an invention that offers everyone a chance to bring magic light. It's been used to add a sensibility to create photo all around the world. Now it's your turn, still original. So like, the whole point of still using film today, you could, you could buy modern film cameras, is pretty much a one-off picture that you can never recreate. It's something that is perfect in the moment, pretty much. So like, yeah, my smartphone, I can take pictures at free will. Um, with this, not, not, not so. Hold, hold on. A moment makes a difference. Every time you take a Polaroid photo, you put hundreds of chemicals into action. So it can take a while for your photo to fu fully develop. While you wait, you can frame another shot, take some time to think, but make sure you keep checking back because it before long, your image will appear a physical memory to have and hold. Share to all developers after this photo is produced. So yeah, it's more of a physical, um, I'm going to try and switch, no, I'm good. The film aspect, from what I can take, is it's it's all, it's also physical like pictures, like and you're probably thinking most people don't use physical pictures, so it's all digital. Um, but that's the uh, feeling of a picture. <clears throat> a picture that is a physical is very it's worth something. I got loads of pictures of me and my family. What was it? Physical, what was it? A lot of my older family, like family I don't usually uh, talk about on the vlog or just in general, um, a lot of pictures I have of them are usually, uh, what was it, old memories. Like on my phone, not so much. So, guys, the film did work in the camera, and yes, the camera did work. Here's some footage of me figuring out how to get the film out of the packaging and get it into the camera. I did have to Google this a bit because I obviously didn't know how to use this damn thing. Um, the reason why I can't play audio right now is because uh, Curtis was doing the stairs and he had music on in the background, which was copyright, so I can't. I mean, they had music playing that was copyright, and luckily I figured out ways to get rid of it in post. Um, but overall, um, the first two shots came out decent, um, not the best. I'll put them on screen in a minute, or I'll show you guys in a minute now in another clip, actually, during this, uh, this edit. Um, or did I actually show them in the footage? No, I think I did show them in the footage. Um, I'll play that next in a minute. But uh, yeah, this did go well, this did work, and um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the technique I learned on this other woman's video, um, put like a bag below the camera, so when you take a picture, the camera comes out, it can go straight into a dark place, because there's a, there's still a lot of light in the uh, subject. Or you can buy from Polaroid site these um, black film covers, so the light doesn't get, it doesn't like, get exposed to light. Uh, that is, that is why. Um, and we were on my landing, which was quite dark, but I keep forgetting this is film. Uh, even the, the, the little bits of light can screw up the film. So, um, yeah, let's switch over to the other me from the past. So, guys, the film did work with the camera. This did take pictures. I took the film out right now, put it in a warm, uh, cool place to, uh, you know. But I need to do it with less light. This, what was it? Like my mom told me, Nan said to do it when there's not enough light. Because downstairs, my door brings in a lot of light. So the, these are the results. Uh, they're decent. I got a nice one of pit curtains. That's great. They were actually all right. They don't look as good as 
gonna see baby me for a minute. They don't look as good as this. This is me and my mother. I'm probably about one or two in this picture. So yeah, this is way better, honestly, because now that was probably cooking in my kitchen back a few years ago. Like what was it, a few de like two decades ago? I in the pitch black. There's a lot of light in here at the moment, so unlike um, digital cameras and phone cameras, we, they they could adjust to the light and take the correct picture. Film doesn't like light; it's super sensitive to the light, so it needs to be taken in a dark place for the work. And probably thinking, how how is this not dark? It's just because film is super sensitive. So when I bought the film packs, it said on the site it comes with eight, but it actually came with ten. So I've used two up now. I put the other ones in the cupboard outside my room to keep them in a safe place. So I don't just leave it in the camera. But yeah, this is entirely, entirely mechanical. So if you did like this video, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I'll be probably doing another follow-up with this camera. I'll buy a more modern one. So if you're wondering what this Polaroid is, this is the Polaroid 600 Originals. It's the more refined uh, one. There was one in the 90s. This is the more rounded one. It looks like it's from the 2000s. Um, so it's still pretty modern Polaroids, unlike some of ones. Now, this is actually considered classic today because there's a lot more modern Polaroids. People make weird noises outside my door. So yeah, this is going to stay. I don't know where to put this. And when I move, I'm going to have like wall shelves to put like retro stuff on. So for now, this is going to go back in its box because knowing me, I'll just lose it. So guys, the clip went on for longer, just me jabbering on about stuff, which I'll just include in the vlog. Like I said, hope you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, by the way, this camera goes for about 120, 100 pounds on like eBay and some places. You'll probably get it cheaper, but I advise you just to get the more modern Polaroid cameras. Link down to Polaroid site down below. Um, they got loads of good, good they got loads of nice modern ones. But they do, do, they do vintage ones, but do keep in mind the vintage ones are a bit more expensive. Um... As of it, I'll go into a more in-depth video about Polaroid, that'll be the second part, actually, I'll take you to my desktop, and, uh, take you through the site. But yeah, there'll be a video videos on the screen, check out these other camera videos I've done in the past, actually, pretty much. Uh, do you need a DSLR camera, or do you want to buy this, uh, point-and-shoot camera, which is pretty interesting. The point-and-shoot camera's been more of a longer video, because I do do tests with it, and I do compare it to a different camera. Um, so yeah, if you did like it, like subscribe comment down below what you think of the video um sorry the video's a bit late i was supposed to be yesterday I mean the day before but i completely was i was just tired and uh, people were just pissing me off in call of duty and it doesn't make me want to edit but yeah either way i'll see you guys in the next one